man, there are there are so many different kinds of pencils. Today, it's ebony pencils. These dark graphite pencils, they're often like smooth and they're really good for laying down tone and texture and like building up stuff. And, and I got a couple questions of whether or not I use them and I do. So I'm busting out a couple today. I've got the Prismacolor, which is the one I'm using right now. That's a Prismacolor ebony pencil, uh, jet black. Uh, it's a it's a decent pencil, not my not my favorite, but it's really kind of soft and smooth, good for laying down tone quick. Um, so I used it in the background here, and then I blend it out because I want it to be like really kind of like smooth, uh, and really like textury and 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 nice. So I ended up actually doing many many layers of graphite in the background. Uh, you'll see throughout the video. I wanted to do this piece in particular because I wanted to do kind of like a soft lit piece, you know, almost like a moonlight type of lighting setup where it's, you know, just kind of very uh, soft and blended and uh, subtle um, because the ebony pencils are perfect for that. I was trying to think of what would be good. Um, and so, yeah, like blending out with the with the ebony pencils is really nice. Uh, you can get a really smooth tone and they're fun to just play with and kind of see what you can do. So I use the Prismacolor mostly to just lay the tone in the back because that's that's not my favorite pencil. It's a decent one, but this one is the the ebony pencil that I really like. This is the General's layout pencil and this one is an extra black graphite pencil it's a little bit drier than the prisma color it's a it's a little bit darker but i tend to like a scratchier pencil over a smooth one and it's really just a matter of preference because if you like a smoother pencil that you're not going to have to push as hard to to lay the tone down prisma color is a good choice but if you like kind of a more scratchy feel you know a more like jagged line that's a little bit harder to control but is you know really fun to use definitely try that generals one and both of these pencils are pretty easy to find uh and pretty inexpensive the generals one i think i got in like a set of other generals pencils um but you can just purchase them on their own usually like michael's will have both the uh, prismacolor or the generals brand or like hobby lobby if that's what's in your area but any basic art store should have something so if you're interested in trying the ebony pencil i definitely recommend giving it a shot if you're into graphite but be warned don't expect it to perform quite like a regular graphite pencil you know if you're jumping from like a traditional like hb or 2b whatever pencil it's gonna it's gonna feel a little bit different it's gonna be a little bit strange but um, the really interesting about them is that the lead core, the graphite core is actually much wider than a normal pencil. It's closer to something you'd see with like charcoal pencils. So it's kind of a nice hybrid between graphite and charcoal. When you use charcoal before it, you know, it, it's different than graphite, but it's, I prefer graphite over charcoal because charcoal is really messy. Uh, it gets everywhere. Uh, it's super dry. You can blend really well with charcoal. Fantastic for that. But it's it's just so messy and it smears and it, it just drives me nuts so i tend to stick with graphite but when i want to go with more of like a rendered blended charcoal look i pull out that ebony pencil um and i use a lot of different techniques you can see through throughout that i've done many many different layers i'll do a light layer and then blend it out and then do another layer and do some line work and then blend that out and i'm just building it up from the bottom and i like to do you know, all the mid-tones, the, the, the gray first, and then kind of pull out the highlights with the eraser for the really bright spots and, you know, go over everything with a darker pencil with more pressure uh, in, uh, to, to really hit the details and like the teeny tiny shadow shapes and uh, get, get all the like forms and plane changes in there that I want without just, you know, completely putting lines over everything. And near the end, I'm switching between um, a regular HB pencil, or no, it's actually an H pencil. It's a lead holder with an H lead in it, uh, two millimeter. And uh, that I'm kind of using to, you know, put a final layer of finish over everything. If you draw everything in the in the ebony pencils or in a dark graphite, you can then go over it with a, with a lighter graphite and kind of use that lighter graphite to lay some additional tone and blend out the, uh, the graphite you have underneath. So lighter pencils will will help kind of you know, just add even another layer of texture. So if you, you start start with your mids, you pull you you pull out your highlights and add your dark shapes, and then you can go over it all again 
with a lighter pencil to get a nice textured finish. Uh, that's what I do. And I do a lot of experimentation in my process. I'm always changing the way I do things. I'm always, you know, maybe trying to do this before that or after what I would normally do because I want to find, you know, different techniques and different little tricks uh, to make my process more enjoyable and to make my artwork better. So that's, that's kind of the thing. But I hope you like watching. Uh, I'm going to just make more of these because you guys like them. So thank you. You're great. Bye. Bye.